Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see what do you mean by lattice energy. So first of all, let's see what is lattice. Lattice is actually is a three-dimensional network of atoms, ions or molecules. For example, we have got this regularly arranged lattice in which the positive ions, the sodium ions and the chloride ions, they are arranged to make a three-dimensional network. Such a repeating pattern of atoms, ions or molecules in any solid is known as the lattice. While the lattice energy is what? It is actually uh, energy released when we produce the ionic lattice from its gaseous ions. So here we got the sodium ions which are in the gaseous state and chloride ions they are also in the gaseous state. So when these ions in the gaseous state they attach together to make one mole of ionic solid the energy released in this process is known as lattice energy. Let's see it in more detail. So lattice energy can be defined as it is actually the energy released when one mole of an ionic solid is produced from its gaseous ions. Okay, so we must get an ionic solid in the solid state from its gaseous ions. Let's see some examples. Here we got different ionic solids like sodium chloride solid made from its gaseous ions. So it has to be one mole. One mole of a solid is produced from its gaseous ions. All of these examples, they represent the lattice energy. So lattice energy involves the making of bonds. You see the positive and the negative gaseous ions, they attach together to make an ionic solid. And in this process, energy is released because bonds are being made. So we can say lattice energy is actually always negative. It's always released because what we are doing is we are making one mole of a compound from its ions. So if a stronger bonds are formed, let's say, the more energy will be released. The more stronger bonds we get, the more negative lattice energy is. So let's compare the lattice energies of two compounds. We got sodium chloride and sodium bromide. So sodium chloride, it has more negative lattice energy. Why it is so? Because the chloride ion is smaller in size, while bromide ion is larger in size. So due to larger in size, its charge, the negative one charge is spread over a bigger volume, you can say. So the charge density in case of Br negative ion is less. So it will have a weaker attraction with the sodium while chloride ions being small in size has a negative one charge. There'll be more charge density. So it will form a stronger bond with sodium ions. That's why it has a more negative lattice energy. So we can say that uh, lattice energy, it depends on what? It depends on the charge density and uh, charge density is charge per unit volume. So we can say that uh, smaller ions with a greater charge, they have a more negative lattice energies because the smaller ions with greater charge, they have more charge density and they form stronger ionic Bonds. Let's compare the lattice energy of uh, calcium oxide and barium oxide. Calcium and barium, they are in the same group of the periodic table, but barium is below calcium and you see both of them, they carry a plus two charge. So barium being larger in size will have a less charge density. So we can say the lattice energy of barium oxide, it will be less negative than calcium oxide. So this is something about the lattice energy. Now let's see some exam questions. In this question, we have to construct equations related to the lattice energy. Let's see. First of all, we have to construct the equation to represent the lattice energy of sodium oxide. So the requirement is that you will always make one mole of an ionic solid from its gaseous ions. So it will be Na positive gas plus O2 negative gas and uh, the two sodiums. So we write two here. Next is MgO. So the same thing that is MgO solid 
it should be made from its gaseous ions that is mg2 plus in the gaseous state and the oxide 2 negative in the gaseous state silver bromide is agbr in the solid state and uh, we get ag1 plus gas plus br1 negative gas same as the case with magnesium chloride that is mgcl2 solid should be made from mg2 plus gas plus there should be two cl negative gas so this is how we construct equation for the lattice energies so in this question we have to suggest an explanation that why lattice energy of calcium bromide is more exothermic than lattice energy of potassium bromide so if you look in the periodic table you find that uh, potassium ions and calcium ions they are present in the same period of the periodic table potassium has a plus one charge and calcium it has a two plus charge so when you move left to right the atomic size decreases and uh, there's a two plus charge means that calcium ions it will have a greater charge density because it is smaller in size and has a greater charge so due to the greater charge density it will form a stronger bonds with bromide ions hence a more negative lattice energy we get so in this question we have to suggest how the lattice energy of MgCl2 and NaCl will compare to that of MgCl. So let's see, uh, MgCl2, it has Mg2 plus ions, while in MgCl, Mg is 1 plus. Okay, so you can say Mg2 plus, it will have a greater charge density and Mg1 plus will have less. So as a result, Mg2 plus, it will have a greater lattice energy than MgCl while in case of NaCl and MgCl Mg is 1 plus Na is 1 plus but Mg is on the right side of the periodic table so its size it would be smaller than Na so Na will be a bigger ion than Mg both have plus one charge so you can say that sodium ion will have a smaller charge density and mg1 plus will have a greater charge density so we can say lattice energy of mgcl will be more negative so in this question we have got lattice energies of three ionic compounds and first of all we have to define the term lattice energy so we can say it is the energy released when one mole of an ionic compound is produced from its gaseous ions Next, they're asking why the lattice energy of calcium oxide is more exothermic than lattice energy of lithium fluoride. So look, calcium is 2 plus and oxide is 2 negative, while lithium is 1 plus and fluoride is 1 negative. So you can say calcium 2 plus and oxide 2 negative, they'll have stronger attraction because their charges, they have, they're more negative and more positive and uh, there are more charge density as a result you will have more negative lattice energies. So in the next part of this question, we have to estimate the lattice energies of uh, some other compounds like MgO and barium oxide. So magnesium is above calcium in the periodic table. So MgO will have a more negative value because Mg is, uh, is smaller in size, greater charge density, so more energy will be released so we can have a value like minus 3600 or minus 3700, it's no problem. While barium is below strontium in the periodic table. So barium will have a bigger size and less charge density. So its value will be less negative. We can estimate any value like minus 3100 or even less negative than this. So this was something about the lattice energy, its definition, the factors which affect and some exam questions. Hope you have understood all this. So we'll meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.